Are you experiencing joy at this moment? Would you like to? I'm Kay Warren, and I've written a new book, Choose Joy, Because Happiness Isn't Enough. There are some passages in the Bible that puzzle me and leave me a little confused, but the one instruction that trips me up the most isn't that difficult to understand. It's just extremely difficult to practice in my daily life. The Apostle Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 5.16, always be joyful. Always be joyful? Are you kidding me? That is crazy. That's absurd. It's impossible. It's completely out of reach. How can God expect us to always be full of joy? We know how to feel good when everything goes our way, but what about the dark times? How does joy fit in when nothing is going right and stress and sorrow invade our lives? I mean, I think there are a few days a week when I'm happy and I'm feeling pretty good, but always have joy? I'm not so sure. It doesn't really fit my experience. Is it possible to live a life of joy on this broken, messed up place called Earth? Well, it was because of my own inability to live with joy that I began to study and explore why my experiences didn't match up with Scripture. And what I've learned helped me finally figure out why the people and places and possessions I'd been depending on for happiness kept disappointing me over and over again. I discovered the true source of joy and became convinced that soul-satisfying joy is within my reach, even in my darkest times. And that's what I'm eager to share with you how to identify your fault sources of joy, connect with God on the path to true joy, and begin to practice living joyfully, not just on your good days, but on your bad days as well. The truth is, happiness never has been, never will be enough. We need something more stable and more permanent than happiness. You and I need joy. And here's the great hope. You can experience joy. Not someday when you get your finances straightened out, not when your loved one is healed, not when you get your act together, but right now, today, you can be a woman of joy. I invite you to join me on a journey to choose joy.